So the thing that I'm interested in the most, I'm a wood technologist by training, and I'm interested in the way that uh, wood integrates with all the other things that people want from the forest and how you manage large landscapes to get a range of biodiversity and economic and social benefits from the forest. At the board meeting, I'm the deputy coordinator for Division 5, which is Forest Products. But uh, this was an excellent opportunity to learn about things that I don't know much about. And one of the things that I'm very interested in is the types of arrangements that um, different groups, particularly in South and Central America, are making to benefit um, people who live in near forests in the management of public lands to help try to understand how do you manage public lands but have the people that live around those forests benefit from them because we have very similar issues in the Pacific Northwest and actually in all of the West in the United States where we have large areas of federal land and we have people who were dependent upon that land uh, for their economic um, livelihood and then the federal government changed the management regime for that land and it's been very difficult for those communities to adjust and a lot of people are quite bitter about this and so I'm looking to learn from things that are happening in the developing world that could be applied in the United States. The U.S. Forest Service has a um, international programs division and that they are quite interested in the whole Caribbean Basin and they do a fair amount of work there and also in Africa. Um, and something that I learned when I was here, you know, I didn't know this and I'm kind of embarrassed that I didn't know it, but back in the 40s, the uh, U.S. Department of Agriculture, which is part of what, what the Forest Service is part of, helped to establish uh, CADIA, which I was impressed by. I think it was a really good idea on somebody's part and uh, seems to have flourished and, and thrived over the years. I'm not really, to tell you the truth, I'm not really sure what the, uh, the interaction is now, but um, they certainly recognize that when I visited Katia the other day and they, they recognize the role that U.S. Forest Service had in, or the U.S. Department of Agriculture had in helping to establish it. And so, you know, in general, we're interested in things that have to do with the sustainable management of lands and wherever we can, particularly forest lands, and wherever we can help out with that, we try to do that.